Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So the new season operation, New Blood, I think it's called, released. Um, we'll be going over all my settings, my sensitivity, all that good stuff in this video, so... Cam. Yeah, I'm ping, I'm ping left dorsal. Good night. Oh, good night. That's Finca. That's Ace. I'm on it still. He's on top of your drone. Remember, at the end of the day, it is all personal preference for this kind of stuff, so keep that in mind as you go through this. But I know a lot of people will request these settings videos all the time, so I wanted to deliver a new one with the season. So first, we'll get right into the settings. So pretty much the only thing on general that matters, um... They added this new stun thing that has like a dark glare. I haven't really tried that yet, but that should be interesting. I don't know if that'll be good or not. I'll probably uh, test it though. I don't think it matters either way. Maybe just so you don't get blinded from your screen like flashed IRL. Um, I use cycle inside camera groups on. That's just personal preference. Definitely want to have your visible throw um, on. And then drone after prep. Make sure that's not an automatic. That way it doesn't boot you off your own drone. Simbi boots you off your teammate's drone still, which doesn't really matter too much, because obviously you're not the one controlling it, so just make sure it's not an auto. Okay, for HUD, I use everything on default except for one thing. If you watched my videos before, you'd see that I have the health off usually. Uh, I don't think it matters too much. The health is already displayed at the top. You can see it right there, actually, that little bar. So that's like a general estimate. I don't really think it's the biggest deal, but it's just personal preference again, like I've said a few times already in this. Uh, besides that, though, I have everything just default. Okay, so more important stuff here with audio. They did change, like, how this tab looks. There's more options now. There's, like, endgame SFX, like, um, sound effects, and then menu sound effects. That's, like, when you're in this menu right here, basically. I turn mine down to 50 on that, and then they also added endgame music here, so I have both those to zero. I have the voiceover to zero. I don't think any of that stuff matters, but... And then dynamic range is the most important thing here. You want to have that on night mode, probably. With night mode, you can hear footsteps from farther away. Um, that's how I always hear where like anybody's coming through the map. In my videos, a lot of people have asked like what I use. I use earbuds, actually. They're called HyperX Clouds. Not the headset, but the earbuds. Um, they are really good. I would recommend them if you are like an earbuds kind of person. But uh, I don't really use headsets or headphones. I just never have, really. I like earbuds, so gotten used to that. Okay, so on to display. V-Sync, you want to have off, I think. Somebody told me having it on, if you're on like next gen with a good monitor, has input delay, so I just want to have that off. Because, again, if I don't notice a difference, I might as well, if there is an input delay, indeed. Um, graphic mode, you want to have that on performance for the frames. If you have it on resolution, you only get 60. By the way, I am using a 165Hz monitor. It's by ViewSonic, so if anybody was wondering about that. FOV, I use 84 i just recommend anything above like 80, 80 to 90. Um, I wouldn't go any lower than that ever. It's just easier to see stuff. And yeah, if you're on 60 FOV still, like these days, I think you're just like limiting yourself. You're like putting yourself at a disadvantage before the game even begins. Uh, so I would not recommend that unless you just really love 60 FOV or something low for some reason. I guess it is up to you though. Um, for HUD and menu display, I have these to 80. This is what this does basically. A lot of people ask me about this too, like why my thing's so zoomed out, and that is why. It's these right here. So I have both those to 80. I think it's easier to see everything in game. Like it's closer to the middle of the screen where you're looking. So you don't have to like look as far up or down or whatever. 
especially if it's like a bigger monitor or something. I just have a 24 inch, but, and then I use 65 brightness for this. Okay, getting on to the real important stuff here. Um, vibration I've disabled, I don't know what my controller is doing right now. Excuse me. Um, hello? You guys seeing this? That is not me. My controller is not moving. I'm trying to adjust and I can't. Like, what is this? <laughs> Am I going to move in game? See, I'm not moving in game though, but it's moving this. Oh, it stopped. I don't know what that was. That was strange. You guys witnessed that firsthand. The season's been a little glitchy for me. Um, I'll show you another glitch when we get in the uh, game here after I go through my settings. Um, and it's a pretty big one, to be honest. For the gadget and drone deployment, you want these both on advanced. Um, the gadgets just stop you from, like, deploying it if you want to. If you're, like, sticking it, it doesn't, like, lock you into the animation, I don't think. Um, and then drone deployment. Basically, you can throw your drone without getting on it, so you always want to have that in advance. You can bait people. It's safer just all the way you want that on. Um, leading behavior, I definitely recommend having this in alternate. It was a learning curve, like the first couple of weeks especially. But even now, sometimes you like knife the air, like every now and then, on like an off attempt. But it doesn't happen very often. I think it's worth it to run alternate so you can lean from the hip. If you get fast, you can literally just like quick lean like you're on PC. A lot of people ask me about that too, but that's how I do that. Nothing fancy on the controller layout, it's all default. Um, same with the customizations here. I'll show you even, I have a uh, default, yes. There you go, I have nothing on that. The only thing different I use on my controller, by the way, I use a back paddle on the left for the back button, or B. And uh, the controller I use is the Power A Spectre Infinity, by the way, if anybody was wondering what I use. I've used the Elite 2 before too, that's also a good one. Just depends on the feel you want. Um, and then control rotation, I've always used classic. I used classic before updated was a thing, so I never even switched, never tried it, but I have heard a couple of people running it and it's good, so again, up to you. Okay, here we go with the main thing. I use 55 vert, 80 horizontal. I've used this for a while now. I know the vert's really high, but I feel like I've gotten used to it and it does help me with recoil a lot. Um, I can show you right now. Like, there you go. That's the F2 extended barrel right there. Let me step a little farther back. Let me go, like, 15. Let's go right here. Yeah, there you go right there. 15 meters, like, no recoil on this thing. I do love me the F2 extended barrel. Okay, let's go to the next thing. So I use six left stick dead zone. Zero right stick. I know this might be weird. I was using two. I was using this for, like, the last month now or more. But So, unfortunately, this is where we get to the glitch part. You may have just noticed it when I was like shooting the walls even. Like look at this. Look how choppy this is. I'm trying to move my right stick just so slightly right now. Since I have a higher sense. Like I can't do it. Like I'm trying to move it. You can see how choppy it is. Like I can't be smooth with it at all. Look at that. It looks like I'm just like zooming to the left and right. You see that? Yeah that's definitely noticeable for you guys too. I don't know what's going on with this this season. It's like vertical too even. I've only been playing for like an hour, an hour or less, just trying the uh, new stuff out. And this has been a major issue. It happens every game. Maybe it's just this mode, but I've heard other people saying it's been happening to them too on Twitter, so... I don't know. don't know how I feel about that. It's like impossible to like turn the way you want. Like, look at that. You see? It looks like I'm like glitching out. And that's like a game changer. Like, you can't be smooth at all, man. If you guys have watched my videos, like, you know how smooth I am in game usually. And, like, what is this? Like, I cannot look at that camera, right? I have to, like, have a sharp movement like that to get it. And that's really going to throw me off, I feel like. But it's not the worst because it does happen to everybody else, too. That's on controller, I believe. So everybody's going to be on equal playing field, basically with, like, a handicap. It's so weird. I really hope they fix this soon, maybe in, like, the next week or less in a patch. Like, it's not game-breaking or anything, like I said, but, like, you can't, like, track angles. Like, look at this. I'm trying to come around this corner as smooth as I can. This is not possible. Like, it's not happening. Like, you can try, I guess, but you're still thrown off. And it's going to make you feel real bad when you're in game, too. Like, look, look how unsmooth that is. It's so jagged. Maybe it's my sense, too, that's not helping with it. I don't know, but... Tell me in the comments if you guys are having problems with that too. I did want to...
put that in this video to bring awareness to it again too, like I said, so... Hopefully they can fix it soon. Okay, next thing though, on the left trigger and right trigger, you should have zero dead zone on these probably, but I've seen people use like 10. I don't really think it matters too much, just depends how sensitive your triggers are on your controller. So it just depends on your controller at the end of the day. And last but not least, my ADS sensitivity, 2543 for the main scopes, and there's the rest if you want them. I don't really play other scopes very often, but there they are when I do. Also, I have all your advanced settings on zero. That's what I run. And then disabled as well. I feel like both those are important. I know um, there's like weird delay or something on old gen even. Obviously, I'm on next gen now, but used to be on that old gen. For the accessibility last tab, I use black optic color with 75. I've been running this for a while now. I just feel like black is less distracting in game. So I want to focus on the target more than like my reticle. So that's why I run that. Screen shake, you want that off, of course. There's that option again. And then your team color, I have an orange and then the enemies are blue. Because the blue stands out more like on cameras, like drones. It'll be easier to see stuff. And on top of that, you'll be able to see claymores like way better. I feel like it stands out way more like outside, like... Imagine that clubhouse one outside the garage door. I feel like the blue is like 10 times easier to see, but. I've seen some uh, pro players running that too, even like the blue. I've been doing that for a while now. I just feel like it's the play. Okay, so last part of this video, I did want to show you guys like a way to find your perfect sensitivity. Um, or at least like a better sensitivity for you. So whatever sense you're running, come over here on these bars. I'm on Nighthaven Labs. There's other pieces of... Uh, maps that you can do this with too as long as there's like lines like this though So you basically want to just flick over to like the first set right here and try to flick back as fast as you can Again, it's a bit weird right now with the dead zone. Like I can't do like small short movements very well <laughs> Like look at that I'm trying to go slow so obviously I can do it fast pretty well though still So try to do that over and over again. I know your thumb will probably start to slip off your controller depending how you hold it, but that's a good way to do that. Then come over this way too. Do that side. Now, if you notice you're over flicking like this every time and you can't really help that without going like super slow, you're going to want to turn your sensitivity down a little bit. So, oh my God, I just ended this. Ignore that. That's been tripping me up at least a few times at this point. The end game being an option right there. Um, but say your sensitivity is like 80, maybe turn it down to like 77, like two or three. And then try it, or maybe even five if you have a higher sense like this. Um, and see how that is. And then you can go to the next one, the next one, and, you know, I think you get the point from there. I've gone over that in other videos too before, but that's pretty much going to wrap this one up, though. I hope you guys did enjoy. Again, hopefully I can um, bring some awareness to that glitch with the dead zones. But if you did enjoy, though, leave a like down there below. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Also, more solo queue coming soon.